Well, October and November aren't great for the tech world, but with the New Year's coming up, things usually heat up mid-November with a lot of confirmed leaks, information and misinformation, mainly thanks to the yearly tech event known as CES. For CES 2022, you have the Intel 12th gen mobile CPUs with hybrid architecture and its competition, the AMD Rembrandt Ryzen 6000 series mobile CPUs, with almost everything about them leaked with high accuracy. Along with that, you also have new phones, new laptops, new TVs, and so on. However, this video is about the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, which was officially revealed a few days ago, the Exynos 2200s with the AMD RDNA 2 architecture, which was leaked a few months ago, the Samsung S22 lineup, and a very big problem involving all three of these. Okay, so let me just get this out of the way first. The Samsung S22 lineup was supposed to be launched during CES 2022 event, but quite a few reliable leaks suggest otherwise. Thus, instead, it's the S21 FE phones that's coming out during the first week of January, with the S22 lineup along with the Exynos 2200 processors showing up sometime in February. The Snapdragon, meanwhile, was revealed a few days ago, as I mentioned before, with the new name, as Snapdragon is now a separate brand, you know, like the Genesis Motors example I talked about in my last video. Okay. So like always, Samsung Galaxy S series phones will be split between Exynos and Snapdragon, but Samsung is now apparently having production issues, which is also why the S22s are coming in February instead of CS 2022. Thus, the Exynos 2200 is expected to be launched only in Europe and Russia. So for the first time, the S22s will ship internationally with the Snapdragon chipset. Countries like India and Singapore will get the Snapdragon S series phones for the first time if you exclude the S20 Fan Edition 5G variant. And well, here's the problem. Initial leaks have been very promising for the Exynos 2200s, mainly thanks to its collaboration with AMD. But this collaboration has inadvertently caused a peculiar issue known as brand value. AMD's brand value among customers is at an all-time high, especially after AMD butted Intel in its own game for an entire generation of CPUs. This meant probably for the first time there's actually demand for the in-house Exynos 2200 chipset even before its official reveal. But unfortunately, not enough supply apparently. So if the Exynos chipset ends up being that much of a leap ahead, markets that were used to getting the Exynos in the first place are gonna feel a bit cheated. Fortunately, most of these markets like India, Brazil and so on tend to place little to no value on the chipset in their purchase decisions compared to Europe. So I can see why the production limited Exynos is going there. However, this will also reflect negatively on those markets that were Snapdragon exclusive since day one, such as US, China, Japan and Canada. Consumers here tend to focus more on the phone's chipset when buying and they won't be too happy if they are not getting the best. There is another fortunately moment here but with a catch. Verizon in the US and China Telecom in, well, China are trying to bring carrier exclusive variants. So you can only get the Exynos S22s in the US and China if you opt for these carriers specifically. Now this was a rumor in September but it's more and more likely to happen at this point. So you can at least get the Exynos 2200s in the US and China with a small compromise. That is, you're stuck with the carrier. This does mean if the Exynos does not end up being as good as its high expectations, people are going to be stuck with contracts and worse phones. And there's also the classic problem of the entire European market this time like before, getting the worst phones, and so yeah, it's basically a similar scenario to the S20s and the S21s. But this time, considering they worked with AMD and put some effort into it, it will be a bit of a bummer from the Samsung side itself, if this ends up being a bit of a letdown compared to the Snapdragon. So it doesn't really matter if the Exynos 2200s perform better than the Snapdragon or vice versa. Samsung is going to be punched in the guts anyways, and unfortunately, that means Samsung really needs both processors to be on par with each other overall. I mean somewhat, it's not the same though, but somewhat like how the S21s fared to be fair. I mean the Exynos 2100s and the S21s were at least much closer to the Snapdragon 888, but obviously wasn't the best when it comes to sustained performances like previous gen. However, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 has focused more on improving its AI capabilities thanks to competition from Google. Thus, it's not expected to beat the A15 Bionic outright, but offer better support AI-wise if the phone can utilize it more. More on this in Mr. Who's the Boss's video, link in the description, or top right hand corner. The Exynos 2200's meanwhile is using brute force with the help of AMD, so better performance, especially from the GPU side, and improved sustained performance especially, thanks to AMD's expertise in efficiency. It's gonna help solve one of Exynos's biggest weakness, hopefully. Anyway, what that means is the processors will definitely be more different this year, 
Whether they end up yielding similar results is what we and Samsung will just have to nervously wait and see. But then, that means for CS 2022, we just have to expect the S21 Fan Edition, which is pretty much a cheaper S21, basically for the fans who can't afford the original S21s. That's what Fan Edition means. I literally found that out a few days ago, so that was a bit of a shock for my side. 